What is going on YouTube? My name is Robert. I'm a rental arbitrage host here in Springfield, Missouri. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my operating costs for the short-term rental. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the gross revenue, all my expenses, and what I'm left with net profit at the end of the month. So if you guys are curious on what an Airbnb listing could get you, stay tuned for this video, and I recommend you guys already smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be breaking out the old whiteboard. For those of you who don't know, I have a Facebook group called Airbnb Mastery Thrown to Arbitrage. It's growing at a pretty steady pace. If you guys are curious on how to get started with this business model, you guys are more than welcome to join that Facebook group and see what everyone else in that community is doing. It's, it's growing and I love to see everyone connected in there. I love to see everyone replying to each other's comments. Um, it's really awesome to see that and I would be more than happy to see you guys there. So for those of you guys who are curious on what an Airbnb listing can get you, and I'm talking about just one single Airbnb listing. I don't have more than one, I just have one for the time being. I pretty much went through all the steps on how to get started, how to find a landlord, uh, etc. You guys know that I do rental arbitrage. I've gotten some recent questions in my comment section that I've actually made entire videos talking about and uh, you know, pretty much going over my experience with it all. So you guys are more than welcome to refer back to my older videos and check those out. This has been a requested video for quite a while now from multiple subscribers and I actually have had it in my idea bank, sort of where I have all my video ideas. I have, I've had it there for a while, so I think it's appropriate for me to finally make this video and break down my operating costs. So what you guys are looking at here is my booked earnings for March 2019. And for those of you guys who don't know, I was actually gone for the most part of March 2019. Uh, I left early in the month and I traveled. You guys could go see those videos as well. I post those on my channel. But for the month of March, you guys can see that I did $2,414.26 in earnings. So that's that's my gross revenue here. So what you guys see is my my night's booked, my occupancy rate was 70% that month. I booked 69 out of the entire month. And this is pretty much my price breakdown. So my nightly price was anywhere from 80 to $140 a night. We did raise our cleaning fee higher that month. We did raise our prices higher just so we wouldn't be booked as often. And for the first seven days, I believe, we had a plumbing issue with the property, so we had those nights blocked off completely. So we actually had only 20-something nights out of the month available for, for booking on Airbnb and HomeAway. So this was our booked earnings for March, and one more thing I'm going to add here is uh, an inquiry we just got, I actually got this today. So someone's looking to stay at our place for the entire month of July, and you guys can see that that's about the average nightly rate we'd be getting um, you know, if, if they decided to book, right? Like this is this stuff in the air right now, but you guys can see this is on HomeAway. Now that you guys are a little bit more familiar with the monthly income, like the monthly revenue a short-term rental listing does, I'm going to break down my operating costs and go over my net profit with you guys, my expenses. I definitely recommend you guys stay tuned till the very end so you guys can kind of know what I'm going through here and what could be in it for you if you were to get started. And that's kind of the main point of this channel. I'm documenting my journey. I'm sharing my experience with short-term rentals Airbnb and HomeAway. All right guys, so like I said before, I'm breaking down my operating costs. So what you guys already saw was my gross revenue of $2,414.26, we can't forget that. So right off the bat, my biggest expense, and I would assume each and every one of you guys that are doing this um, are gonna have this equal expense, uh, is rent. So rent right off the bat is minus $800 for me. That's my rent here in Springfield, Missouri. Interestingly enough though, my landlord actually rents his garage from me. So he pays me a total of $50 a month just so he could store his stuff in my garage or his garage. But uh, you know what, it is what it is. He, he rents his garage uh, from me every month and I get a, a check of $50 a month from my landlord. So that brings my total expenditure um, of rent down to $750, but we'll break that down in a sec. I have an internet bill of $40 a month. That is automatically an expense. You guys are gonna wanna have a solid connection of internet. I have an AT&T plan. I think it's like their smallest plan. So internet is $40 a month. Uh, of course, trash service, which is $13 a month. They bill me every three months, and so that comes down to $39 every three months, $13 a month, however you wanna look at it. And of course, utilities. My utility bill ranges anywhere from $130 in the summer, to 160 so it depends on the month it depends on the guests who stay there but typically that is what my utility bill looks like this brings my total monthly expense to 1013 dollars 
Like I said before, my landlord pays me $50. So we're just gonna subtract $50 from this total amount because you know that's back in my pocket. So my total monthly expense ends up being $963. My net profit comes out to be a total of $1,453.26. So once again, I'm gonna run through my operating costs with you guys here. I grossed a total of $2,414.26 in the month of March. And my rent is $800, but my landlord pays me $50 a month to rent his garage because he uses a storage. And therefore he puts $50 back in my pocket. So my rent is technically $750 uh, because that, you know, that happens pretty simultaneously. When, when I pay him his rent, he pays me $50. Uh, internet is $40 a month. I use an AT&T plan. My trash service here locally is $13 a month and they bill me every single three months. So $39 every three months. And then my utility bill varies month to month, obviously. Uh, as does most of yours depending on how much you use it that brings my total expense to thousand thirteen dollars But I get that fifty dollars back. So I'm subtracting fifty dollars from thousand thirteen So my total expense is nine hundred and sixty three dollars. That leaves me with a total net profit uh, Varying month to month. Obviously, this is very different depending on what month it is But you guys can obviously see that it's very lucrative for me to do this where I'm doing it One thing I didn't mention is that these prices are completely relative to my situation and how I'm operating my business obviously Some of you guys aren't gonna have these numbers. Some of you guys aren't gonna see this sort of revenue or you guys aren't gonna have this low of rent now one thing I did not mention in the price breakdown was the cleaning fee and that is because we don't have a cleaning service we typically clean the property ourselves and for the month of march you guys already know that we traveled and we had a cleaning service uh but let me just share something with you guys it's kind of unfair Alyssa's mom actually does cleaning for a living that's where her job is she has her own cleaning service uh, i guess you could call it she goes and cleans houses uh, that is kind of just what she does for a living and we actually had her come clean our place so technically we never really paid anybody to do it i just want to clarify that and that of course is all under my circumstance under my situation i didn't add the cleaning service to our monthly breakdown that's because we don't and we have never spent money on cleaning service now before you say this is unfair or whatever like just understand that you know that's probably an expense you can anticipate and I'm just sharing my experience. I'm just sharing my monthly costs. I don't know why I'm wearing a hood, but once again, I want to say that I'm very grateful for my situation, for everything I'm able to do with this. And I encourage you guys just to go ahead and try if you've never attempted it, if you've just heard maybe it, you know, maybe it could work for you, maybe it's not going to work for you. Just go ahead and make sure that you look into it and do your research, do everything you need to do to ensure that you get a very profitable listing. Now, I've heard people that. You know, people have said that Airbnb has low occupancy rates. I've heard people say that Airbnb is not the way to go because guests will trash your place, uh, specifically in you know certain parts of the country. Uh, it all comes down to where you're at, what you're doing with it, you know, your situation. I don't ever think it's a bad idea to try it. If you guys have had this thought, you know, maybe you guys have considered it. I definitely advise and I definitely recommend going out there and seeing what you could do with the business model. Uh, just because you hear one negative thing about it, it doesn't mean it, does, it doesn't work for everybody. And I understand that not everyone's going to have a landlord who pays them to rent his own garage from them. You know, that's that's sort of a very special situation. I encourage you guys all to learn as much as you can. You know, I've made plenty of videos going over rental arbitrage, how you can get started, everything under the sun regarding this business model. And if you guys have any suggestions, like this video is actually suggested to me by a comment. Uh, like I've had the idea in my mind, you know, but you know, I just didn't think it was that important. I think more people are concerned with uh, the fine print before they get started, which is understandable. But I think the steps to actually starting is more important than what you're going to be making because that comes after. So I just wanted to share with you guys what's possible. And like I said, this is a very special month for us. It's a very awesome month for us. We raise all of our prices, our cleaning fee and our nightly rate, just so we would avoid booking. Just understand that my number is going to be different than your numbers. I know some people are doing six grand a month with this business model. I'm not in a location to do that kind of volume. I'm very grateful with what I'm doing right now. And that is all I wanted to share with you guys. I think it's very helpful for you guys to see the numbers, for you guys to see what could be made here. And don't get me wrong, you know, 1400 a month isn't something that you can live off of. You obviously need other sources of income before you can make this a uh, scalable thing, right? So don't just jump the gun and quit your job or something just to start full-time Airbnb until you have about, I would say comfortably five listings. 
that's a good threshold to understand exactly how everything works and maybe take some of that profit for yourself. For the time being, every single dollar we make with this business is being reinvested back into the business. Uh, we're just constantly improving the listing, buying better things here and there. And we're obviously saving up maybe for a potential property or for more listings. Uh, this is really how it's been going for us so far. And if you guys have any questions, like I said before, just leave them down below. Uh, be sure to smash like on this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Don't forget to join my Facebook group if you haven't already. We'll be bouncing ideas back and forth in there. Like I said, there's already hosts in there. I'm in there myself and it's growing slowly but surely. So I'd be more than happy to see you guys there. And with that being said, I will see you guys all in the next one.